stuff. And I'm gonna hoist it up towards you. Top one at least. King snake. Huge, beautiful king snake. Wow. Holy crap. That is massive. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a cold March morning here in South Georgia. And Ian and I are gonna spend the day looking for king snakes and whatever else we can turn up. Got a nice tarp here to start the day. Covered in briars, of course, but we're gonna hopefully be able to turn up some snakes. What are you thinking of doing with this? Yeah. Nice layer. Well, that's just criminal. Look at that. Light bulb. What on earth? Right. Would somebody like to explain to me why there's no rattlesnake under there? Because I don't know. Big broadhead. Three sheets. Look at that guy. First tarp of the day and he disappeared. I'm going towards you. Yeah. What on earth? All right, guys, we finally got our first snake of the day. Huge gray rat snake under this piece. I just had to stop recording because we weren't finding anything. And I've probably flipped like three dozen things since we stopped recording and uh this is the only snake we've seen but anyways nice big gray rat snake to start the day nice and healthy cool to the touch still so if we can find tin that's not scorching in the sun there's definitely snakes under it so it's only about 60 degrees but the tin that is in the sun is really warm to the touch if it's not stacked so either way first snake of the day nice big rat we're gonna put him back Snake. It is. I really like seeing these South Georgia rats. Don't get to see them enough. There's too many king snakes. They all get eaten. <laughs> all right. All right. Flip it again, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> He's big. What's up, dude? That's a snake eater right there. Big possum boy. How's it going? Is that tin nice and warm? <laughs> That's such a big possum, dude. What up? You don't have anything to say to us? Just just gonna sit there and look like you're about to die? All right. So there's possum. Rat snake was there. And a nice ring neck. Ian just raked out of the leaf litter here, trying to uncover the tin so we can flip it. Kind of an uncommon find down here. Don't really see ring necks in this area a lot. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got two copperheads here, and they're being incredibly uncooperative, but they were in the same little area as the uh, rat snake in the ring neck, possum, right over there. But really weird find for this part of South Georgia. Um, I've never seen a copperhead flipping down here before, and then we get two under one piece of tin, so definitely interesting. Um, not something I was expecting to see today at all, but always welcome find. These are two pretty good looking snakes too, uh, not in shed or anything, so but went from zero snakes to four snakes with one flip spot. It's pretty good if you ask me. So we're just gonna cover these guys back up and uh, continue flipping, try to get a king snake. But two nice copperheads here in South Georgia. All right, go back under that tin. Go on, go on, go on. Now they don't wanna go back under the tin. Earlier we couldn't get them to stop going back under the tin and now they won't. And I'm gonna hoist it up towards you. King snake, huge, beautiful king snake. Wow. Holy crap. That is a massive. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, he is in shed. Well, it took a while, but there is our first king snake of the day, and it is a contender for the biggest one I have ever seen. We're gonna move him and flip this bottom board and see if there's anything else. 
All right, everyone. So when we first flipped this snake, he had horrible eye caps and we spent a considerable amount of time and effort making sure we could get those off for him so he can see. Uh, I was super worried that underneath there, he would not even have like viable eyes anymore because they looked like they'd been there forever. But as it would turn out, they were just eye caps that had been on there for quite a while. But his eye, as you can see under there, looks relatively normal still. It's a little bit cloudy. Uh, he might be about to go into shed or something. I don't know. But either way, this is by far the largest Eastern King snake I have ever found. And I was glad we were able to help him out with those eye caps. So anyways, what we're going to do now is take a couple of pictures and put him back under his board. Hopefully now that those eye caps are off, he has many more years ahead of him. And hopefully he'll grow to be even bigger. So... I'm gonna get a couple quick photos of this guy and we're gonna put him back. It's still pretty early in the day, so I'm really hoping we can turn this day around and turn up a few more snakes here before we have to head home. So anyways, I'm gonna put this guy back under his board. Such a ridiculously awesome snake. I mean, he's just massive. He's gotta be at least five and a half feet. That is absolutely insane. Another thing that's cool about this snake is his black is not really black. It's more of a chocolatey brown, which uh, I prefer the black, honestly, but it's a different look, and it's definitely interesting to see, so really cool. First one I found like this in this part of Georgia. All right, big board. King. Very nice. Beautiful little king snake. Look at that little guy. That is beautiful. All right, the sun's super vibrant right now and harsh, so I brought this girl in the shade here by the car to show you guys. King snake number two for the day, really clean, really good looking little female. Um, definitely one of the cleanest ones I've seen from this area. I mean, almost immaculate banding on this thing. But young snake, probably two years old or so. Just a nice little clean female as our second king snake of the day. Really awesome. Anyways, we're gonna get some quick photos, put her back under her board. Uh, we've started finding snakes all of a sudden, so we're going to keep at it and see what else we can turn up. But really nice. Really glad we got to see at least a couple king snakes today. But hopefully we'll be able to turn up some more. We're going to keep at it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you the hook. And since I'm going to be trying to record. Yeah, they're going to be a little rot. They should be good. King, king, king. What on earth? There you go, there you go. Oh, buddy. What on earth, dude? I'm gonna come up easier. And that's disrespectful dude <laughs> all right well we got one king at the spot third one for the day all right well there's king snake number three for the day flipped yes. under that board right over there anyways we're just gonna put this guy back under his board and keep flipping see if we can get another one but king snake number three this has been an awesome day Next spot under this piece of tin, King Snake number four for the day. You can see he's right there. He's got a little bit of dirt on him, but he's a good looking snake. We're gonna pull him out and get a better look. And the next piece of tin over had another one. So two at this spot. Number four. Is this four and five or three and four? This is four and five. Yeah. This is my best King Snake day ever. Really? Yep. I've never gotten glad to be playing. I always get four. That's like, like I get fours all the time. Never gotten five before until now. Unfortunately, number five is in shed, quite deep in shed, but out of five king snakes for the day, only one being deep in shed is pretty good. Alrighty, we're gonna let these two go. This one Ian's photographing is pretty nice. He was just covered in dirt when we first flipped him. He's got that same spotting thing going on as that last one did too. Yep. Here's a prettier and not in shed of the two kings from that last stop. We're gonna 
get a couple quick photos. This girl's being super cooperative, so we're just gonna snap some quick shots and then take them back. But beautiful Eastern King Snake, number four for the day. And that in shed one is number five. Breaking my personal record of four in a day, which I've done a, a bunch of times. It just seems like that fifth one's always hard for me to get. But either way, beautiful Eastern King Snake. All right, can we get a six King Snake? How's it feel? Not too hard. And right there is number six, boys. Holy crap, this one's nice too. Look at that. That's in C2. Pull him out. All right, let's see what you look like. Oh man, holy mess. That's clean. Whoa, what's up? Hell yeah. Goodness gracious, dude. Oh my goodness. King snake number six for the day. What's up, dude? Whoa, whoa. Hey, what's up? God, that's a nice one. This is definitely the prettiest one of the day, in my opinion. Love that white. I'm more of a black and white king snake fan. A lot of people like the brown ones and the yellow ones, but I like mine black and white and busy. This one's very busy. Plot covered. <laughs> For his tent, this a little boy. What a good looking snake. There you go. There you go. Awesome. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't want to find seven king snakes today anyways. Do it. Ants. That's cool. Bigger than it looks. Going that way with it? Going up towards you. Okay. Alright everyone, probably our last stop for the day, or actually we'll have one more after this, but we're gonna see what we can do with this. Maybe get on that side and catch it when I twist it. Yeah, we got fire ants. Yep. Alright, actual last spot of the day this time. good too. Not today. Without breaking it. We did get this, didn't we? I don't think so. Ugh. 